I'd like to show you my $2 plotter that I use for a model to teach students the variables of moving in two dimensions. So what we have here is a piece of paper underneath this apparatus. And so I have my controls set up such that I want to move the pen down, I want to move left, up, and then right. And finally pull the pen out, leave us with our trace. There's our 3D plot, pretty amazing. What this is, is this foam material, which is just like meat trays. And what you can do is you can cut this with the scissors, any shape you want, hot glue it together. And I use for the bearings, just very cheap beads with a little skewer that you can get, <clears throat> little dowel. And then as far as the motors, you'll notice this is just a little hobby motor. Just about anything with decent torque will work. I attached a little piece of insulation from a wire and a little rubber tubing, just a press fit, and then a long screw. The driving nut is really a credit card that I hot, made a hot hole in and then threaded this through so that it makes a nice loose thread. But as you can see, when the thread turns, it will pull this back and forth in this dimension. And then I've got the same thing in this dimension going forward and back. And then in order to use the pen, this is a dollar store pen, and it runs pretty easily without much friction, just from gravity feed, and you can go back and forth. In terms of the power supply, I've got three volts, and that's connected to a DPDT switches, which are reversing the polarity, and a push button switches to activate. So use this as a demonstration for students to build so they can understand the variables in a CNC or in an engraver or even in a 3D plotter where you know you need to move things in two directions and even in three you could conceptualize that and it gives them an understanding why we need stepping motors and why we need precision and what are the variables involved. If you'd like to see more it's on the website at the bottom.